What's going on, fellas? Had to bring the AE86 or <laughs> GR86 back on the channel. As you guys know, my last video was on the uh, the best FR in the game. And to be honest, <laughs> it's just an unbiased opinion. Don't hate me for you GR owners out there. If you ain't, if you haven't driven the Miata, get behind the wheel of one and you'll see why I think that that is the best FR in the game. Although this is my favorite car, it's not better than the Miata it, for a couple of reasons, but I'm not gonna get into that today. Today, I'm gonna talk about, and sorry for the, the music, uh, it is Sunday and I'm right by a church, so forgive the sound. And the weather is uh, kind of crazy out here right now. Well, I wouldn't say crazy, but it's a little wet. But today, I'm gonna talk about these things right here. They'll probably be gone um, in the next couple of weeks, I wanna say. Uh, the Primacy HP, Prius tires is basically what everybody calls them. Um, but I'm gonna tell you or talk to you today about when I believe you should change your tires to a winter or a really good all season tires because you don't necessarily need, you know, a snow tire. For example, I have snow tires right now equipped on my Indy Miata. You don't necessarily need those. They're kind of overpowered um, in most situations because you know you get um, those trucks that pretty much gets most of the snow and ice off of the street before you even drive. So they're kind of they're good, um, at least in my area, right? I, I can't I can't say it for everybody now, you know. But in my area, they're kind of a little bit overpowered. But um, to me. They're still good, but anyways, I want to talk about the 8.6 right now and what kind of setup and when I'm going to change these tires. So, um, right now it's just it's been rainy lately, and as you know, it's fall. Um, it's about to be October, so we're gonna the weather is slowly dialing down to 70 max instead of like 90 and 85 max, and we're getting a lot more rain. You know leftover hurricane residue from other states different things like that so for me uh, uh, in my experience driving here in in Maryland where I work at um, these tires they they get the job done um, I think for for light rain like this um, that it will eventually dry up I think you're good in the sense that you won't necessarily be in immediate danger trying to drive around getting where you need to go. Now, if you're trying to drive spiritedly, I would do that with caution um, and know the limits of that tire because you, you know, we already know, right? Like these tires get squirrely on dry roads. Just imagine, you know, on a road like this, that's pretty slick and you just start putting you know pedal to the metal and making these sharp turns like for example right here i usually kind of go a little bit more aggressive around here but uh, for those of you who've been driving for a very long time and who drive spiritedly safety is always paramount man um and uh for those of you who are new drivers who are who just got an 86 or whatever um just use use caution um use safety as much as I want to drive this car like a bat out of hell, um, I would much rather have somebody's life saved and mine, of course, um, than to drive, you know, crazy around these corners and trying to, you know, test the limits of the car. And speaking of limits, um, these tires, you can find the limits of these tires really, really fast. And again, I'm only a beginner uh, with this vehicle or with the platform rather. So um, I think that's really good because it's showing me what I can and can't do, especially on regular roads where there's reg normal traffic. Now I'll throw out there, I did have a track day scheduled. I'm gonna go this way first. Um, I did have a track day scheduled, but I had to cancel it 
due to um oh they almost got slippery due to me having to work and so i got the rescheduling which was good because i'm not paying any more money so my next track day is uh on the 18th of october i want to say yeah the 18th so you know I, i'm looking forward to that and i, w I was going to have a video prepared um for my track day but you know that couldn't happen but back to our regularly scheduled program so these tires um i would say if you're if you see if you're looking at the weather and it's just non-stop rain wet slush um just you know bad weather right um, i would definitely look into getting these tires getting your tires switched out um because i can tell you from experience you can hydroplane in this thing really really fast uh and i've done it and it's not fun i mean it's fun when there are no cars around sure and you're not gonna run into anything but it's not fun when you got other lives that you have to worry about and yourself too you I mean you don't want to wreck and you don't want to damage your car that's just more money out your pocket so i would say just on the be on the safe side if you know when your weather kicks in wherever you live i would say about 45 days before just go ahead and get them if you already have the tires you know and they're sitting in the garage or something just switch them out man just to be on the safe side if you're daily in the car because i know some of you guys um park your sports car you know throughout the winter time which is i don't have that luxury um because i like driving my car and i still want to learn about it and, and i'm the type that would like to get my money's worth out of it rather than it sitting uh, I guess maybe once I pay the car off, I'll treat it more like a garage toy during the winter. And if once I have another daily, um, but I have two sports car daily. So a lot, well, let me change that. I have three daily sports cars, um, but I let my dad use one. So I, I just say two. Um, so, you know, and I kind of wanted to get my, my fair share out of them, even in the winter time. Cause one, it'll help people who don't understand how to um, drive a sports car in the winter I'm definitely gonna walk you guys through that because I'm gonna be learning as well and two heck I just like driving sports cars so it's just it is what it is um, but yeah I think that um, about 45 days is a good a good uh, starting point to looking to get those tires switched hitting up discount tire or maybe doing them yourself and just putting those tires on just so you could be on the safe side um, as far as keeping everybody else safe as well as yourself because sometimes this weather if you guys live on the east coast you know like this weather comes out of nowhere and before you know it you're running in a deep puddles with potholes in them and or really really slippery bridges you know that that could definitely be sketchy if you're going at speed so I would just uh, have a rule of thumb. I'm sure most of you already do, but again, I'm kind of learning on the fly here with this because I usually have, I've, the last couple of years, I've had a WRX, and as long as I put some brand new grippy tires on there, some all seasons, it's fine. Um, but now I'm doing this rear wheel FR business, so uh, I'm still kind of learning as I go. So for me, I think I got maybe another couple of weeks or so before I throw some uh, my tires on here that I'm trying to get so well they're actually already in the cart so I'll have them here within a couple of weeks you guys will see a nice little setup um, but you know what I'm also interested in you guys um, and what your setup is going to be for the winter uh, for those of you who are daily in the car as far as like are you going to run snows um, I know for those of you who are in like Michigan and you know further north they get way thicker snow than we do here in uh, Pennsylvania you know you're probably gonna run some snow tires with with the uh, those studs in there and everything like that and I'm interested to see the videos with the setups man maybe some people like the Topher shout out to the Topher you know uh, getting the car lifted you know for more clearance which I think is pretty neat um, I don't think I'm gonna do that I think the car is fine the way it is right now I'm just going to throw some tires on there and see what it feels like. But I'm interested in seeing what you guys are doing. 
Um, maybe I could piggyback off of something that you're doing. Maybe you have better suggestions than me. For those of you who've been driving sports cars in the winter a lot longer than I have. Um, but I think that's all I got. Um, again, show me your setup um, and then you'll see my setup here in a couple of weeks. As I said before, I got, I got a, uh, I already have my snow tires on the Miata, so I'll be fine if my tires come a little bit late, but uh, I'm just interested to see what everybody else is rocking and, uh, you know, getting excited for this winter and seeing how we can get through this stuff together. So that's all I got. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, I appreciate the love from all the other videos um, that I've made thus far. My channel is steadily growing and it's all thanks to you guys and uh, helping me out with that. So that's it, man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in about a week. Peace.